In the previous videos, we saw how we can select elements by their IDs using the getElementsById method. The DOM API also gives us other ways of selecting elements. In this video, we will select elements by tag name and by class name. Let's first start with the tag name. For this video, I have prepared a list. This list has four items. Item 1, item 2, item 3, and item 4. And I have some basic CSS here. Then the first and the third list items have a class of highlight. And here in CSS, I have added a background color to ally items that have the class of highlight. Now let's move to JavaScript. We can make use of the getElements by tag name method to get all of the lists. So let's do it. We first declare a variable. So this variable will have the result. Then let's use the document object. Then get elements by tag name. Then let's give it the ally as argument. Then let's console log the result. As you can see here, the get elements by tag name returns an array. The get elements by ID returns only one element. But this method, get elements by tag name, returns a collection. It returns an array. We can manipulate this array. First, let's add a button. So, button, we will give us an ID of BTN. And here the text will be change the border. Then let's select this button using get element by ID. Then let's add an event listener to this button. And for the moment, let's just console log. So great, it is working. Now if we want to change the first ally, here we can access it just like we can access an array. So let's console log the first ally, list and index 0. So this variable and index 0. And now when we click on this button, we console log the first list item. We can change its styling. So let's give it a different border. And now when we click on this button, the first list item has a different border. We can do this to the second one here if we use a different index. Great. And now if you want to change all of the list items, we add, you add a loop. So let's do it. I will add a loop here, and to each element, I will add a border. And now when we click on this button, we add borders to these list items. Great. Let's move to the get elements by class name method. This method allows you to get elements by giving it a class name. Here, the first list item and the third one have the same class name. So let's select them. I will create a new variable, then documents.getElements by class name, and we give it the class name, highlight. And let's console log the result. And now we have two elements. Let's change these two elements here instead of changing all list items. So let's remove this loop and create another one. And now we are only changing the list items that have the class of highlight. Let's give them a different background color. So now we change the border and also the background color. Great.